having learned to look at, identify, demonstrative pronoun, we go to the fifth part, that is a indefinite pronoun. That's the fifth one. Indefinite. Indefinite pronouns. And that's what we are going to. What is this indefinite pronoun? An indefinite pronoun is that which refer to persons or things in a general way. Okay. So, indefinite pronouns is that. Indefinite pronoun is that which refer to which refer refer to persons or things persons or things persons or things in a general way, in a general way, that's why it's called indefinite. See, it's indefinite pronoun that which refer to persons or things in a general way, not definite. Generally, just mentioning. Now, we'll do some examples for us to understand indefinite pronoun okay examples first one we have is be kind to others be kind to others first i will write down the sentences for you, then we look at the sentences closely. Few went unnoticed. Few went unnoticed. Next I have here is all were enjoying the rain. All. All were Enjoying the rain. Next, I have here many of them left the job. Many of them, many of them left the job. Some are always lucky. Some are, some are always lucky. None of these books is useful. None of these. None of these books books is useful. Everybody was invited to the party. Everybody. Everybody was invited to the party. One cannot talk like that. One 
one cannot talk, one cannot talk like that, like that. Okay, now, what is, what is a, an indefinite pronoun? An indefinite pronoun is that which referred to persons, things in a very general way, very casual way. You are not pinpointing anybody, you are talking in general, you are not talking about anybody particular. We are talking in general. Okay, you can have the test any day. You can write anything you want. So, no specifying thing. Now, look at this. Be kind to others. We are not talking to, to say, be kind to children or be kind to parents. No. Be kind. We are gently saying others. That others can be anybody. We are not naming. Be kind to others. Few went unnoticed. There were many people there. And few people were, went unnoticed. We don't say who are those few, just few. We are talking about persons or things in a general way. Who are those few? We don't know. All were enjoying the rain. All, it can be big, small, old, young, anyone. All were enjoying the rain. Then, many of them left. Doesn't say boys or girls or men or women. Many of them, many. Again, we are talking in general. Some are always lucky. Some people are always lucky. Some. None of these books are useful. So many books are there, but we don't specify. We are talking in general. Everybody was invited. Everyone was invited to the party. One cannot talk like that. Now, in this exercise, we are talking about indefinite pronoun which refers to persons or things in general. So, others, one, few, all, many, some, none, everybody, all these, we refer to not definite but in general we are talking. So, indefinite Indefinite pronoun is very easy to remember because we are not specifying, we are not pinpointing anyone. We can talk in general. One cannot talk like that. Or we can say one cannot behave like that. Eh? One cannot come late to class. We don't say who is that. Be kind to others. Anybody kind to, when you say it can be people or animal, anything. Now, few went unnoticed. All were enjoying that. You can say even animals, whether they were animals also enjoying anybody. We don't say people or animal, nothing. General, we are talking. Many of them left the job. Some are always lucky, or some are always unlucky. None of these books are good, or none of these food is good, or none of these plants survived. None. We are not talking about specific, we are talking in general. Everybody was invited. Everybody came late. Everybody came early. So, when you are talking in general for things or persons, we say it is an indefinite pronoun. We will do a short exercise. Now that we have learned indefinite pronoun, you will fill up the sentence, complete the sentence by filling in with indefinite pronouns. Fill in with the correct indefinite pronouns. Fill in with the correct in 
indefinite pronoun. Okay. Let us look at the first one. Dash should try hard. Dash should try hard. I will write out all the sentence first. Meantime, you think what is the indefinite pronoun? What word goes into this sentence? All right, to complete the sentence. Dash of these, dash of these, of these apples are rotten. Dash has, has eaten my tiffin, has eaten my tiffin. Dash are equally good, dash are equally Good. Dash are scared. Dash are scared. Dash does not wish to be named. Dash does not, does not wish to be named, to be named. If I do not want, okay, I do not want. I do not want, I do not want dash of these tables, tables. Now, we are going to fill in with correct indefinite pronouns. When you say indefinite pronoun, with the things or persons talking in general, we are not pinpointing, specifying. So, let us read aloud and see what word, what indefinite word we can put into these sentences. Fill in with correct indefinite pronoun. And the first one says, dash should try hard. You can say, everybody should try hard. Everyone, everybody, everybody, starting cap letter because of the first word, should try hard, all, everyone, okay. Then next one, dash of these apples are rotten, some, some of these apples are rotten. Dash has eaten my tiffin. Somebody, very good. Somebody. Somebody. We don't name anybody. It can be anyone. Somebody. Dash are equally good. All. All are equally good. Next. Dash are scared. Here you can use a many word, anything like. You can say few, few are scared or you can say all are scared or you can say some are scared. See, here you can use three different words, few are scared, some are scared or all are scared, any of the indefinite pronouns. Dash does not wish to be named one. One does not, 
one does not wish to be named. And finally, you have, I do not want dash of those tables, any of those tables. Many tables were brought for looking at, I do not like any of those. Now, what have we done here? We have filled in with correct indefinite pronoun. We are not talking about anything specific, we are talking in general. So, filling in is very easy. Everybody should try hard. Some of these apples are rotten. Somebody has eaten my tiffin. All are equally good. Here you can use three different pronouns, indefinite pronoun. Few are scared, all are scared or some are scared. Here, one does not wish to be named. And finally, we have, I do not want any of these tables. So, we have learned the usage of indefinite pronoun in these sentences.